So, um, hello everyone. Um, my name is Michael Yuan, and I'm the main, uh, maintainer of the Wasm Edge project. So, Wasm Edge is a WebAssembly runtime at CNCF. And, uh, but here, um, instead of telling, give me another talk about what is WebAssembly, I want to talk about one of the biggest use cases of WebAssembly that we, uh, that we have seen. You know, in particular, it's in Gen AI. You know, so um, at current times, we have community users using Wasm Edge to run large language model. And they have over 200,000 machines running Wasm Edge and large language model. Just think about that. And I'll tell you what, what problems they are solving using this particular software at this moment. So the problem we are trying to solve is to run open source Gen AI models, in, including large language models, voice to text, text to voice, text to image, video to, uh, video to language models on your own infrastructure, or bundle it with your own applications, okay? So if this is not of interest to you, if all you want is to give your data and give your money to open AI, then I think the rest of the talk wouldn't be that interesting to you. But if this is, um, but if this is what you want, then my next question to most people is that how do you run it, right? You know, if you want to run large language model applications on your own infra, how do you, uh, what, what tech stack do you use? And most people's answer is Python, you know, isn't that obvious? You know, that's uh, the large language model are all training Python and, you know, they're PyTorch and everything. But I want to make a convincing case against the Python. You might not Python. You know, I don't want to uh, be bad mouthing about any of the technologies that I mentioned here, but I think it's important to, to mention some of those in order to say why, why we are different, right? So one of the biggest problems with Python is extremely bloated. And, uh, uh, we, and also, when you do things like uh, encoding, uh, um, you know, decoding, it's extremely slow. And it's not just me saying that. You know, if you look at the Python's Docker image, the Docker image for PyTorch is eight gigabytes, okay? Eight gigabytes of Docker image. Imagine running it on your edge devices like our users running in a car, on um, uh, Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, and you know, things like that. You need eight gigabytes of disk space and memory to run it. So Python, in a lot of use cases, Python is not a good choice. Then you, if not Python, you know, I think most people are using Olama. You know, that's, uh, I use Olama too, running on my own computer. However, running it on the edge or running it on, say, uh, uh, on, on a production server, I don't feel this is the best choice because one of the most important thing on Llama is that it's a it's Llama, right? It's a, um, a, a large language model, so it has um, pretty uh, weak support in terms of you know multi multi models, you know like voice, like text and images and you know things like that. But those are increasingly important for your application, you know. So we're gonna demonstrate, you know, we, we're gonna show some application like live translation and you know things like that. It's all the interaction modality is all, all video and audio, right? And another thing about it is that it has heavy operational support, meaning that uh, you know, it's, a, it's a Go application, it contains multiple platform specific binaries, so it's hundreds of megabytes, and it requires a daemon that requires pseudo per permission running inside your container or, your, or on your machine, which is you know, um, a little too heavy for me. So if not Olama, then what about just to go straight to the C++-based framework that underpins both Python and Olama, like llama.cpp, whisper.cpp, where I am, and you know, things like that. But those are the things that we go back to the cloud, uh, you know, before cloud native days, before Go language, before Rust language, right? You know, that's, we go all the way back to C++, which is also something we don't want. So that brings us to the framework that built on uh, Wasm Edge, the WebAssembly framework written in Rust. You know, we call it Llama Edge. You know, that's for obvious reason, you know, so the naming is not particularly innovative. But, you know, it's, uh, it provides out of box, it provides open, open AI compatible API servers. So if your application, your launch application, your Llama index application is built to use open AI, you can just change api.openai.com to localhost 8080. That's it. You know, that's, uh, you would be able to run those applications using your local model. Right, you know, so that's, um, so, so here's the URL. And uh, there's key features. It's the things that uh, everything I talked about was other framework, other solutions are not, like lightweight, portable, wide selection of AI models, embeddable, and cloud native support in, in major distributions. So uh, since we are CNCF projects, so we have been, uh, we have supported upstream in a lot of Linux distributions and other distributions, right, you know, so. There's some agent use cases from the community I want to highlight. So, you know, so we have things like, uh, you know, AI written newsletter about all kinds of different topics. You know, that's a newsletter. If you think about newsletter, someone wrote it and you receive it, right? You know, but instead of that, someone come up with a material every day and, and you receive something entirely different based on your preference, right? Uh, uh, agentic video translation, you know, so that's a typical case of scaling inference instead of scaling the training, meaning that we take this video, for, in, for instance, from this KubeCon and feed that into a pipeline and it's gonna have text, um, you know, uh, have uh, uh, voice to text and have multiple agents to do the translation and check 
the translation quality based on the content that's, pro, uh, that's being spoken at the event. And then, um, you know, resynthesize into voice depending on the voice character that you choose. And then output video at the other end, you know, so we have multiple, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have done this for, for a couple of conferences for hundreds of hours of videos at this moment. Not us, but, you know, um, uh, community that using our software, right? You know, so there's, uh, and the coding assistant, obviously, you know, there's uh, with a new chairman encoder model that was released yesterday, you have a truly state of the art open source model that can do coding assistant. So um, my time's up. So if you are interested, we have several talks the, uh, in this KubeCon. Just look us up, Wasm Edge, Llama Edge. And uh, you know, if you um, go to our repository, like it, fork it, and contribute. Thank you.